Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today I'm going on Amazon.com and I'm going to try to pick up some baseball cards and see if they're any good. This is 600 baseball cards including Babe Ruth, unopened packs, many stars, Hall of Famers, shipping in a brand new box, one original pack of Topps vintage baseball cards that's at least 25 years old. So if we take a look at the picture here, you got a Mickey Mantle, got the 52, and then for some reason when you're advertising cards, you can't forget Andy McGaffigan. you got to have him in there because what's not going to make you want to buy this if not a picture of Andy McGaffigan so it was $22 and some cents I think with tax it ran me uh maybe like tw like almost $24 $25 for the box and we scroll down here if we look at the comments the comments are kind of uh all over the, the place they answered the questions here they said are they any good cards and then the person says I'd say they're probably worth the price this is the seller saying it but don't expect any great cards of the current superstars. So that's kind of interesting. When I saw that, I was like, eh, I don't know. Uh, is the estimate always correct in terms of the total amount of cards? I guess we'll find out. We're gonna get two of these boxes and see if there's anything good. If we take a look at this, this is the breakdown. Got kind of a lot of one-star ratings, not what was advertised. Do not buy. So already we're kind of uh, looking at some things here that these might be from serious collectors that were disappointed. This person says, they were a big disappointment. They are repacks and very obvious to anyone. <laughs> Here's one just awful. And this one says, this was my worst Amazon buy ever. Another person says, do not buy. Huge disappointment. So that, uh, that made me think, okay, I'd like to pick this up and see if it's really all that bad. Let's take a look at the uh, five star because it did get more five star than one star. It's great for a gift. Uh, this person says, perfect for beginners. Uh, this person says, I would kiss whoever sent me mine. So kind of a mixed bag here. Some terrible reviews, some good reviews. We're going to get two of these boxes. We're going to open them up and see just exactly how bad they are and if they're worth the money. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to tap that notification bell so you get notified for all of our videos. And hit the like button, leave a comment. Now let's go and open up these two boxes from Amazon. All right, it's time to open up this package. We just showed you the details uh, on Amazon, and now we're going to open this up. So I figured, let's go ahead and see what this uh, offer from Amazon is all about. On Amazon, sometimes you can find some good deals. Most of the stuff I saw on there is well over retail price. I mean, who wants to pay $30 for a Topps Blaster Box? You can go to Walmart and get them for $20. But I thought this was kind of interesting. So 660-count storage boxes. Filled with cards. Now, the reviews on this were, I don't know, a little wishy-washy. Wishy inconsistent. Some people saying this is terrible, awful, the worst product ever. And some people saying this was actually pretty good. So I, I have no idea. You can, let's take a look and determine for ourselves. So it's the SSI Superior Sports Investment. Um, I guess an investment box here with 600 baseball cards. Let's see what we've got. So I don't know if there's going to be any bangers in here. I mean, I paid $45 for all of this. So I'm guessing most of it's probably going to be commons. Uh, hopefully not all junk wax, but it says like new 600 baseball cards, including Babe Ruth, unopened packs, many stars and hall of famers. And then shine. I, well, I don't even know what the rest of that says. It's cut off. But anyway, Lucas, these are all his. Lucas is a Patreon member. If you'd like to check us out on Patreon, it is $4.99 a month to have access to all of our breaks. And here we go. A big box of cards. It looks like all of the, uh, may, maybe these might be all the good cards. All the Hall of Famers. So you have Ricky Henderson, 90 tops. Mickey Mantle, it's a Kmart card. A Deion Sanders, 90 upper deck. Don Mattingly. Uh, Tony Gwynn, and then I don't know why the sticker cards would be set aside. Kyle Ripken, all-star card, and Mark McGuire. You got Jeff Bagwell. There's our Ken Griffey Jr. right there. That's not a bad one. Will Clark. There's the Babe Ruth card. So the Babe Ruth card they give you is one of those those Leaf Babe Ruth cards, which is, as you know, pretty uh, pretty worthless. A Frank Thomas 91 top second-year card and a couple Nolan Ryan cards from those Nolan Ryan sets. All right, so... I'm guessing that was probably the best of the bunch. Now let's dig into this and see what we've got. It said the cards are going to be 25 years or older. 
So let's look and see if we can find anything good in here at all. So a Bernie Williams rookie card is the fourth or fifth card in. Very nice. We'll take that one. Bernie Williams rookie card. There's Garrett Anderson. Got some of these old, I think these were Fleer, yeah, Fleer tradition cards from like 03 or so. Dominic Brown. So some of these cards are more modern. I was expecting all junk wax, and we're seeing some cards in here from 2019 and 2020. Which is nice. Hey, Marco Luciano's in there. That's a, that's a camo of Marco Luciano. This is already better than I thought. I thought it was literally going to be nothing but 90 Don Ross and 91 Fleer. So it's nice to see some other cards. Addison Reed, rookie card. Tom Seaver looking a little like, uh, I don't know, like almost like a villain there. We got National Baseball card day, Chris Bryant. We got uh, Gregory Soto, so some 2014 Tops cards. Wouldn't it be crazy if there was like a Jacob deGrom rookie card hiding out in here? Dale Swaim, 88 Don Russ. That's kind of more along the lines of what I was expecting. Hey, Marion Rivera, Hall of Famer Marion Rivera. I think that's an 08 Upper Deck card. Yep. Mo, nice. I like that one. I'm going to put that one in the good pile amongst my favorites. We've got a Ray Durham. So there are some Hall of Famers in this. Kosuke Fukudome, he was a big name back in the day. Another Bernie Williams card. When he came over, I remember Cubs fans were all excited about him. And uh, Kosuke just uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't that great in the long run. Usually, that's what happens. There's Paul Molder, the guys coming over from Japan. Typically aren't that great, especially position players. I mean, if you think about it, you have Ichiro and Hideki Matsui. Beyond that, who else has been decent? I mean, Seiya Suzuki's putting up some big numbers this year. There's JT Snow. Hopefully, he can keep it going. Mickey Morandini, whenever I look at him, I think of the unassisted triple play. Fred McGriff, 92 triple play. I used to love those 92 triple play packs when I was a kid. Frank Robinson's a Hall of Famer. There's his manager card, Doug Drabeck, a Cy Young Award winner right there. We got our oldest card so far. It's Steve Trout, looking like a crazy, crazy guy. Like uh, Steve Trout, that's a that's kind of a funny picture right there. Vernon Wells and a 79 tops, Gary Templeton. Now our oldest card, 79 tops. So far, nothing too crazy. Probably the most valuable card is this one, a John Smoltz error card. That's not John Smoltz. That's Tom Glavin, so that's pretty awesome. That error card's in there. Probably, they're, they're, I bet you uh, didn't mean to do that. That card is a, a nice error card. Maybe we'll find another error card in here. I, I love that card. I used to love that card as a kid. And it's kind of cool that the error that they made was uh, another Hall of Famer's image, putting John, uh, putting not John Smoltz, but Tom Glavin on there. 300-game winner Tom Glavin. Both of those guys in the Hall of Fame. Kirby Puckett's in the Hall of Fame. Very nice. Orlando Merced, Stan Belinda, and Steve Balboni. So right now we're doing better than I expected. Next run of cards, we got our 90 tops cards. It'd be kind of cool if there was a Frank Thomas hiding out in there, but there's not. Let's see, we've got some cards from Pacific Crown 2000. We've got a 1959 style Tim Redding card. Some more recent cards. There's Mo Vaughn. That's his rookie card. Brian Buchanan. I did get two boxes of these just to see what. There's a random football card in there. That's kind of weird. But I wonder how they put this together. If they just grabbed large lots. Barry Larkin's a Hall of Famer. I will say that I'm kind of happy with the collation. I was worried that it was just going to be a big stack of 91 Fleer just all in a row. I, someone in the comments said there's like 28 or 29 players in a row. There's a Gary Card right there. There's some 91 Bowman. Eddie Murray's a Hall of Famer. They are pretty well mixed up. It's almost like this is a giant pharmacy box. Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer, 87 tops. Get a little almost pack worth of that. There's Chris Sabo, 89 upper deck. Not too shabby there. Joe Carter, World Series here of the 1993 World Series. Rafael Palmeira, second year card from 88 Fleer. Got Terry Pendleton right there. Here comes some 86s. There's Will Clark, second year card. Nice little Dave Parker mini. 86 Fleer, not the, or 86 tops. Not the greatest set, but they do have a lot of Hall of Famers in there. There's Mike Schmidt. I like that one. So I do like that there's a lot of on Robin Young as well. So how about that? They're mixing it. And Juan Soto. So overall, I paid, I think it was, like I said, $45. So $22 something, like $22.50. And that included the shipping. So this might actually be not a bad 
little box to open up for those of you that uh, just like opening mystery packs. Um, there's Dante Bichette, Raphael Belliard. I used to hate him as a kid, and I do not know why. He was on my team and everything. Pirates fan growing up. We've got some 90 scorecards. That's a Joey Bell. That's Albert Bell. That's his rookie card. Paul Molitor, our second Paul Molitor. So a couple Molitors. Probably had maybe a, at least a dozen Hall of Famers, if not more. There's John Smoltz, another Hall of Famer to add to the lot, along with Ozzie Smith. Saw Bo Jackson there. Robin Yound is a Hall of Famer. Tony Gwynn is a Hall of Famer as well. I would love to find the Bo, no car Bo Nose card. Lee Smith, another Hall of Famer. So a bunch of Hall of Famers in that 90 score run. Let's check out what else we have. We have um, a fake autograph there of Miguel Tejada. Wouldn't that have been cool if that was a real auto? That would have been nice and unexpected. There's one of those diamond giveaway cards. Ryan Howard, a couple of his cards. I, I'll tell you what, we haven't seen a lot of rookie cards, for what it's worth. So I'm guessing all the rookie cards, whoever bought this probably just bought giant lots, and the lots were probably sifted through, and all the rookie cards lifted, and then sold off separately, or who knows what, but not a ton of rookie cards. I think we only found maybe just a, a small handful of them. Best rookie cards so far. I mean, we're talking about rookie cards. I don't really consider junk wax rookie cards that great. Some of you might like Hal Morris. Personally, I, I hated Hal Morris as a kid. Marquise Grissom, that's not actually his rookie card, but still a nice one. Got to watch those. Carlton Fisk's a Hall of Famer, by the way. Sometimes there'll be a lot of cards, especially in the 90s, where they advertise a rookie. There's a Mo Vaughn. And it's not actually his rookie card, like that Mo Vaughn. Mo Vaughn's got a, a 1990 Bowman that's his rookie card. 90 score, etc. But they put on that 91 Donruss card rated rookie, so... They tried to kind of streamline that and, and uh, standardize the rookie card logo so that they have put an official logo in effect in, I think it was like the mid-2000s, to try to clear up any confusion. There's a Jeff Kent. Uh, that is the 1990 Fleer set, 93 Fleer. I was checking to see if it was an update set or not. Got Tim Hudson. A lot of people think, thought that he was pretty good. Phil Necro's a Hall of Famer as well. Carl Hubble. You'll have to let me know down in the comments what the best overall card was today out of everything that we received. There's Roy Halladay. He's a Hall of Famer. That's his turkey red. Jim Tomey's a Hall of Famer as well. There is a little giveaway going on. We're doing a 19... Not 19. A 2022 Andre Dawson Hall of Famer. 2022, an entire case. Not just a box. A whole case of 12 boxes. Tony Gwynn's a Hall of Famer. 92 Donruss right there. Giving away a case of Heritage in just a, another week. Barry Bonds checklist card. <clears throat> so if you'd like to participate in that, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. If you're already subscribed, you got uh, half the battle done. McGuire and also Maddox right there. All that I ask is that you comment in this video, just and I will choose a random commenter. Looks like we got the 91 Pirates team set right there, which is weird. There's Will Clark, Pro Visions card in the middle of all those. But I ask that you comment, and I will choose one random commenter per video and uh, put you all into a Saturday showdown on April 30th. Whoever gets the lowest numbered card, we'll get that entire case. We've got some nice Heritage cards there, 1970 Tops design. Those are 2019 Heritage cards. Good old uh, 91 Don Russ. we got some 89 Don Russ. Speaking of Don Russ, so it should be coming out next week, so stay tuned for that. It'd be cool if there was a, just a Ken Griffey Jr. hanging out in here. But uh, there's not. We've got some 91 tops. So there's Craig Biggio. Out of uh, 600 cards, I'd probably say about 500 of them are going to be from the, uh, the, the John Fox era, the 90s. This is kind of cool. Look at this. The Grand Slammer complete set. How about that? I think it's uh, the Grand Slammer set. Probably not because Roger McDowell's in there and he wasn't a, uh, a Grand Slammer card. I don't know what this is from. But that's pretty cool. I'm not going to open it up. I'm going to save that sealed for Lucas and he can do whatever he wants with it. So a little bonus set right there for you. Mark Grace, Tom Glavin. We've got Todd Helton there who might be a Hall of Famer someday. And then these weird, uh, what are these even? 2021 40-man cards of a bunch of Padres. Got some upper deck cards. And they guarantee you a sealed pack in every one. And wouldn't you know it, the pack they gave us, there's some Gypsy Queen cards. The sealed pack, of course, is going to be 
88 Donruss, which, uh, you know, very, very overproduced set. But we'll leave that sealed for Lucas. And then we have a collector book. So a little special there. George Brett collector books for Lucas. So that's box number one. Overall, I'd say that's that really wasn't that bad at all. I like the fact that we got a bunch of Hall of Famers. There's some prospects in there. I like the Marco Luciano. We got one more box we'll go through. And then you can let me know if this uh, is worth it or not. And it looks like it's pretty much the same format as before. You get your fake Babe Ruth card in here. You get your box toppers. Ken Griffey Jr. So it looks like they're trying to give you a Griffey in every one. Frank Thomas as well. Frank Thomas, 92. Bo Jackson. I don't know what's with... I hate those sticker cards personally. We got our Nolan Ryan and some more sticker cards. Looks like our pack is going to be a 90 upper deck pack over here. Let's go through these. We've got some sleeve cards here at the outset of that. We'll get to those in a second. First, let's look and see if this is going to be pretty much the same. There's Mark Trumbo rookie card. So you got some newer stuff in this one. Todd Helton, 87 Fleer design. Cool one right there. I think that's a Fleer tradition card or Fleer platinum card. Jason Jambi, Pedro Martinez. Got some more 2014 cards. So this is kind of like a pharmacy box on steroids, I would say. Pharmacy boxes are about five dollars. You get one pack and thirty cards for five bucks. For you know, just fifteen, seventeen dollars more, you get all of this. So if you love those pharmacy boxes, this might be something you want to pick up. A lot of people were saying this was absolutely awful, and uh, you know what? If it was all junk wax, like it was all ninety, if it was like all this, this is what I was expecting right here. This is basically what I thought it was going to be. There's John Smoltz in there at least, but kind of cool that they mixed in some other stuff. See what else we have. Sparky Anderson's a Hall of Fame. Another Aussie Smith, 1990 tops. There's Frank Robinson, another Hall of Famer. We saw his 91 tops manager card. And we get to some 93 flare cards. Those were big cards back in the day. A hostess, Gary Sheffield card, kind of is pretty nice. Got some minor league cards right here. And uh, Richie Moody. By the way, big auction tonight. Um, Gonna probably start hopefully around seven. Might be a little later depending on what time we get back. We're gonna be going to Little League double header today, and these are nice cards. Frank Thomas, Ryan Sandberg. We got an A Rod right there. A Cal Ripken Jr. Mark McGuire. So it's cool that they're taking some time to pick out some of the better cards. And there's been some good cards mixed in as well. So I hope you can join us for the auction tonight. Like I said, probably 7 to midnight or so. Justin Harris has a giant collection. It's two massive boxes of cards. Tons of autographs. There's a nice one right there. Wade Boggs, rookie card, chrome. Obviously a reprint, but tons of stuff. Join us tonight. Anybody can participate in our auctions. You do not have to just be a Patreon member. You could be... You just need to be a subscriber. That's it. If you're subscribed to the channel and you have PayPal, you're good to go. So I hope you'll join us for that. Really hot here, by the way, in Pennsylvania. Raphael Palmero rookie card, 87 toss. Barry Larkin rookie card, nice. How about that? Barry Larkin rookie card hanging out in there. That's definitely one to uh, put aside as noteworthy. We've got a little over half the box left. There's some 89 Fleer. Wouldn't that be something if we found one of the good rookies from 89 Fleer? Most notably, the... Um, Ken Griffey, we just saw two Hall of Famers in this 91 Upper Deck run with Craig Biggio and Tim Raines. Let's see what else we can find. Gerald Perry, another one's coming up. It's going to be Alan Trammell. Doc Gooden would have been a Hall of Famer if he could have just stayed on course there. Started his career so good. Got Eddie Murray right there. Andy Van Slyke. There's Barry Bonds and Albert Bell. By the way, Mystery Box Monday coming up tomorrow. And then Tuesday is going to be a, it looks like a Walmart day. Picked up $100 of... $150 of Walmart stuff, including some mega boxes. We've got a Gary Carter in there, at least. He's a Hall of Famer. And what do we got here? Miguel Tejada. There's Mike Felder. Terry Steinbach. That's one of the, I think this is going to be one of those Toys R Us cards. These are kind of cool. I like the uh, the rookies of those Toys R Us cards. When I think there's a nice uh, couple good rookies in that set, like Barry Larkin and such. we got the 91... Don Russ again, Dave Justice, second year card, Robbie Alomar, Hall of Famer. Good old 91 Don Russ. They are, well, I've been thinking about doing a 91 Don Russ break. There's a 2002, kind of like a parallel there. But um, I was thinking about for the longest time doing 1991 Don Russ, like 100 box break. Probably would be the worst break ever in terms of my sanity. 
But the reason I was thinking about doing it is actually pulling on camera one of the elite cards, which are so, so tough to find. I actually pulled one in my life as a kid. I forget what year it was. I know it was a, there's a Frank DePino right there. Nice one. Uh, Gary Carter, 82 tops. How about that? Nice Gary Carter, early 82 tops card. Another Gary Carter, Tim Raines mini. But yeah, I was thinking of uh, trying to pull an elite uh, live and uh, did that once with the Fred McGriff. It might've been 92 darns. I can't remember, but I remember going nuts. I think I remember the exact place we were. I remember sitting in the car on Route 30 by Green Gate Mall and opening that pack up. Cesar Cedeno, 1971 Topps card, now takes over the lead for the oldest card of all these boxes, Robin Yount. There's an 83, as so this cat is trying to get into the wrapper of the box. So that's what that crinkling sound is. I guess I should probably put that up behind me so it doesn't distract you. I just tossed it on the stove, so how that stove's not on, is it? Good, we're good to go. We'll be having lunch soon. Billy Wagner, minor league card. Nice one right there. There's the candy man, and that's a... Man, Todd Jones looks like he's about ready to work some security at a nightclub or something. Former closer Todd Jones. I got Charlie Hayes right there. That's Key Bryan's dad. Got our 90 Fleer cards, which uh, kind of always stick together just a little bit. They, they don't want to come apart a little bit. Tough to go through. Here's 88. There's Jose Lean's rookie card. He was my brother's favorite player when he was growing up. Jose Lean, a, uh, known for his defensive prowess, not much else. Kevin Moss, that was a huge card back in the day. Everybody wanted Kevin Moss, 1990 Topps traded card. If I had a Beckett, I'd bring it out and show you what that one was worth. Andres Thomas, I watched a video yesterday. Andres Thomas was one of the worst players of all time. Had a, like a negative 6.9 war. Was... Uh, was just absolutely terrible. About half as good as a replacement player would. There's Ricky Henderson, 87 All-Star card. And we've got some of these 92 classic cards kind of all sticking together. Chuck Knobloch. Don Mattingly is a nice one. Look at the look at the mullet on Mattingly there. It's a nice one right there. Timmy's running over see it. Check out that hairdo. That's a big league mullet right there. Casey Blake. We've got a manager of Frank Howard from 84. There's Alan Trammell autograph series, but where's the autograph? Like, what's up with that? It says autograph series, and they put a fake autograph on the back. We've got Kurt Schilling and John Smoltz. Looks like Heather just got attacked by the cat. He scratch you. He's, uh, he's, he's a little jealous that he's not on camera. We've got a yellow Brian Bass rookie card. Hey, we've got a Bryce Harper, albeit the worst set of all time. It's one of those 90... Not 90, but uh, like 2013 triple play cards. There's the Chris Sable Gold Cup card. Good old Greg Olson. We've got about a handful or two of cards left. Nolan Arenado. So thanks, everybody, for being here today. Hope you guys enjoyed this Amazon pickup. I know some of you pick up cards on Amazon, especially if you can't find cards at your local card store. And sometimes people like to just take a chance on stuff like this. I figure, what the heck? I'll take a chance on it. And maybe we'll get some entertainment out of it. And look at this. That's an awesome Ozzie Smith car doing the patented backflip where you jump. And uh, probably like 42 years old there can still do that, which is pretty impressive. That was near the end of his career. I think Ozzie Smith's final ever card was 1996 tops. I think that one was a 95. There's a Bo Jackson All-Star card. Marcus Stems, and we're almost done here. Daryl Strawberry, 93 upper deck. Robin Young, I used to love the upper deck set as a kid. I, used to, I thought it was so nice. And I still think it's nice, although they stick together a lot. There's a mark of wire, so I, I would avoid packs of those just because of the stickiness. There's uh, Robbie Cano. He's next in line to get 3,000 hits. Probably won't get there. He's a little shy of 2,700 career hits, but he lost the 2020 season, most of it, to uh, the pandemic and then was suspended all of last year for... PEDs. There's a Fred McGriff card. Got an Eric Bedard. That's his Bowman rookie card. Brad Lidge. He was a good one. Lights out closer. Nasty slider from Brad Lidge. Another Hall of Famer. Actually, two of them. You got Jim Tomey and also Dave Winfield. I've noticed some of the cards were a little off condition. Some corners a little iffy. But that's what you get when you're buying boxes for 20 bucks. Typically, if you're just buying junk wax and it's just junk, junk wax, you'd probably honestly pay about a dollar for a thousand cards. There's Burt Blyleven right there. So, uh, I mean, 
it was nice that they mixed in some stuff. I would say with the price of shipping and the Amazon fees that uh, what they are charging is probably okay. It's not terrible. They were definitely better than I thought. I was thinking we were going to get picked through boxes with absolutely nothing. But there was, uh, there was a nice little run of Hall of Famers in here. We could probably found, I don't know, maybe like 50 total Hall of Fame cards or so. I didn't keep track of all of them. Got some 1996 Topps cards here. You saw Omar Vizquel, who will likely never be in the Hall of Fame. Esteban Lamas, another bad guy. Mike Messina is in the Hall of Fame. That's a nice one. Roger Clemens might get in someday with the seven Cy Young Awards. And now we're looking at the 1997 set. This was the last year I really collected big time. I remember having a lot of these. I used to love the Mario Rivera card. And we have a 90 upper deck pack. I think I'll open this one up just to see if we can get lucky. And maybe, just maybe, hit something good in this last pack of the video. And we've got a Tony Gwynn. I'll get all these put back in the box for you, Lucas. And I'll get them shipped out to you in a priority flat rate box. We got a Steve Avery rookie card. Mike Schmidt retires. That's a nice one. It was nice that Upper Deck made that card. I think that 90 Don Russ did the best job with Mike Schmidt's retirement card. Tops didn't touch him. I don't know why Tops didn't do a card for Schmidt. They should have. And the final card of the video is going to be a Steve Sachs in his Yankees uniform. So that'll do it, folks. Thank you very much for watching this one. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. I hope you'll join us in the auction tonight. And I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.